Artificial intelligence is making its way into one of the most fundamental aspects of education, completing assignments. Students are turning to AI power tools to help them finish their homework faster and more efficiently than ever. But is this a positive development or does it raise concerns about academic integrity? Cheyenne Cole is on your side tonight, sitting down with local educators to ask, what is its role? What is AI's role in the classroom? Anthony and Heather didn't write that introduction. Neither did I. Instead, it was written by ChatGPT, and the fact that it's convincing is part of the challenge local teachers are facing as artificial intelligence invades the classroom. We're just beginning to scratch the surface about some of the implications. This is very possibly harrowing consequences. Eventually, that comes to losing our own ability to come up with unique thoughts. That's dystopia. We teach it in school, dystopian literature. David Harvey teaches 11th grade English at Tacoy Creek High School in St. Johns County. After almost three decades in the classroom, Harvey is confronting a new problem. Students using artificial intelligence to complete assignments. In the past, you would suspect the hand of a tutor or perhaps a, an overbearing parent would be helping out. Now we, you know, you can tell by the responses and it's, it's pretty obvious that some of them are using ChatGPT. Red flags include perfect grammar, a bland writing style, and often a failure to respond to the actual writing prompt. Writing classes, I think it's particularly important for you to learn how to communicate, and so that's where I think we're going to have to really look at uh, informing our students how AI can be useful, but when it is absolutely inappropriate. Visiting professor of English Trisha Booker says there's no formal policy for dealing with AI, but the unusual quality of artificially generated work can be detected by the school's plagiarism detection tool called Turnitin. If you run your papers, all your papers through Turnitin, it's an automatic process. If any of it is plagiarized, it'll pick it up. So we were seeing papers that were coming in that had 0% plagiarism but we're absolutely perfect. AI's influence in the classroom isn't all bad. Harvey says some non-English speaking students can use it to help with learning sentence structure. Type in a question and have it run its wheels and it comes back with all these ideas. So it's really great for brainstorming, for getting kids to think about the text in a different way. Expert with the Global AI Ethics Institute, Josh Geller says schools are just scratching the surface of AI. And he thinks it will soon be used to assist students outside the classroom. Think about uh, understaffed administrative offices like admissions. Uh, when it's come time for students to apply to college, you might be able to use uh, a chatbot like ChatGPT or another kind of artificial intelligence to answer questions that you don't need a human to be there to, to respond to. While academic integrity is a concern, Geller says AI can be used in ways that will enrich the experience for both students and faculty. We want to tack our sails to the wind that, that, that is artificial intelligence so that we can harness it for good educational purposes, thinking about how it can make us stronger instructors, thinking about how we can better train our students for careers in the future, careers that aren't even maybe developed yet. As with students who plagiarize, those who use AI to do their work can face punishments, including suspension or expulsion. But Harvey says perhaps the biggest impact on students who use ChatGPT is the loss of individual expression. We're teaching skills, we're also teaching critical thinking. And if you just sign it off to ChatGPT, that crucial skill of being able to think for yourself is probably the biggest risk. Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.